Beautiful pass. Door fell off the glass, not there, but the rebound put back up and in by Victor Alexander. And the first two sizey shots in the early going. Here's Harris from 15. Now I know why he's starting. <laughs> Wade. And picked off by Woods. Driving the lane, lays it off the glass, up and in. Nice move by Terry Woods. Dorfell comes up with it. 
Woods down to Alexander from five. So is his shot. He just floats up there. Victor did a good job. Here's Keller. Three point land. Count it. Dorfell didn't. Dorfell goes bounce pass into Adrian Moore. And Moore is in the scorebook today. Good. 2015, Dorfell open from 17. I've been watching Iowa State playing time, and now he's with the Cyclones. Baker inside gets the shot up, and it should count. Robert improved the shooting. Biggest lead of the game for Toledo. It's short line. That strong hair just snatched out of there and lose control of it. His hands are so soft and good. Woods doesn't get it, but there's Alexander to follow. And Victor Alger went for it, didn't get it. He turned, went right to the basket. Big count from three. Ball off the offensive glass real well in the loose rebound. Adrian Moore follows it up in there. The Cyclones are not on top. It's 40. Iowa State would like to run if they can. Up court to Baker, and he cans it. Rebound to Iowa State, and the Cyclones really doing a number on the boards. Here's Woods, coast to coast. Well, you can see Woods is playing much better here in the second half, especially rebounding. Baker, one-hand hook, gets it, and gets fouled. Baker had or two points here in the second half. And now he just adds to that. Oh, down with it. Should have a trailer. Woods decides to fire and hits it. 13 in the ball game. Just in second periods for Iowa State. Moore open from 15. All net. And Adrian Moore now. You can shoot the ball well, but you can learn to play defense if you just want to play it and really work at it. Big Ben can really shoot the ball well, and Victor Alexander, he doesn't shoot it, he just drops it through. Right now, are down with a misfire from Moore. Here's Taylor, three in a row. And that should be enough. Johnny Orr is calling timeout. Ben goes high to block the shot by Taylor. Here's Woods on a three on two to Victor. Finger roll up and in. And you notice best with four fouls, he's clock time. But instead, Woods penetrates, dumps off to Baker. Oh, nice move. And, and a great move. Maybe the play of the day. Woods left open. Fire that three. That should nail it right there. And that Woods. Good pick that time by Adrian Moore. A solid pick. No movement. Lost it. Alexander picked it up and puts it to three minutes. Big pin ahead to Baker. He'll, he bobbled the ball. No traveling call. Baker down to the final 10 seconds. Somebody here is going to get the last one. <laughs> Alley oop didn't work. But on the day and Kirk Baker with the victory sign right there and our Garst player of the game is relations to Kirk Baker and also thank you from Garst because at Garst it just keeps getting better the final score Iowa State 87 Toledo 69
drops it off. The ball loose on the court, picked up by Baker. Ahead to Woods. Him open. Woods pulls up and pops it in, and Terry Woods puts the first two on the board. Out of there, Thick Ben hustles after it. And he'll pop it again and hits it. And Iowa State back on top in a season 11. So he is a good shooter, but just does not shoot the ball that much. Terry Woods with his second of the day. And Woods with four points. Mills to follow. Tipped out of there this time by Baker to Woods. Two on one. Woods hands it off. Nice touch pass from Moore to Thigpen. You know, with two fouls on Coons and Alexander, you're just wondering how long it'll be before Iowa State has to go zone as Terry Woods drains his third today. Well, that sounds more to Thigpen in the corner. Now they get it down low to Alexander. He turns, and his first two points of the game coming at the 12. Walk or jump ball. No whistle at all. Griffin, three-pointer. Griffin, four of four. Baker in the paint, lets it go. Nice play by Kirk Baker, his fourth point of the game. Iowa State trailing by one, fought, misfires. Dorfeld with a rebound. Iowa State can regain the lead. Woods pulls up and drains it. Only for two, but Woods with eight points. He can jump too. Collins with two turnovers in a row, ahead to Robinson for the slam, and that brings the crowd to their feet. Robinson. Johnny Orr calling for the motion offense now, trying to spread out the Wolverines. Thick pen baseline finds his eye again. Good hustle by uh, Thick pen that time of going to meet the ball. It had been turnover time. Adrian Moore again on the line. For Mills working hard, dumps it off. Nice play to Vaught with authority. Three on two for Michigan. Griffin out to Caleb. Here's Woods penetrating, gets the basket with five seconds left in the half, and then almost a second out of your offense, you're down 13. Oh, oh here comes Robinson. <laughs> Hailing from Detroit, a lot of family and friends here. Here's Dorfeld outside. Swish. Eight. Then, when it came time to sign the letter of intent, too much pressure from within the state, he stayed home and went to Michigan. Uh, they've been coming to too strong for Michigan again this second half. They had a 10-2 run start of the half, and now it's been 10-0. Off-balance shot by Sean Hill. The game with 25-point performances against Toledo and Florida a &M. Here's Mills underneath. Michigan just getting the ball with no problem. And Johnny Orr summons Brian Pearson off the bench again. Here's Collins from outside. He gets the roll, only two. And it's almost a route, almost a 30-pointer. Collins strips it away, ahead to Moore. Brian Pearson should have the layup and does. First two of the round saying, hey, now after the game, keep your head, don't make any remarks that you'd be sorry for. Interception, Pearson, or rather Washington, ahead to Collins for the finger roll. Collins with eight points. Return to Chrysler Arena was not a happy one for the Cyclones. But you can see the handshake, Steve Fisher and Johnny Orr. We'll talk to Johnny in a moment. The final score, Michigan 101, Iowa State 76. A lot of poise displayed this afternoon by the defending national champions. And you can see a lot of sportsmanship being displayed also. Well, Gary Thompson is all saddled up out on the court right now. Gary, your thoughts on the game? It might be a different contest next year at Hilton. Well, I'm sure it will be. Uh... I will opening up man to man. Woods for three. Great start for the Cyclones. Terry, his best was 44% in the sophomore season. There he gets a steal off Skinner. Cyclones off to a big start, the kind of a start you like in this kind of a ball game. We've got two guys going at each other, Skinner and Woods. It was supposed to be Iowa. Turnovers killing the Hawkeyes early. Woods for three. Only two, he hit the line. And Terry Woods is now. Because they'll attack it. I think you have to attack the press. And I said that Woods is feeling it. He's going to take the shot. Cyclone lead in the early going. Inside Alexander for the easy two. By Baker forced. Uh, 
Alexander. With a dozen points already in the ball game, and this is only five minutes old. Adrian Moore puts it by Moore. Here's a breakaway by Thompson, and he slams it home. Five quick points for Thompson. Woods pulls up, and he is red hot. Pass. You throw it soft and let him run on. Ago, he said quickly. What's the best description? Of what less oh, missed the sideline, man. That Baker, that's it right there. That's wide open. Then you heard it on the other end. Two on one. Oh. Woods pulls up and drains it. Well, he makes a jumper. I'm looking for him right there. And Garner took the shot away. Inside to Koontz. He spins, lays it up, and in. Well, this is what Johnny Orr is looking for out of this. <laughs> He's ready. Well, you mean every time? Here's Woods with a steal. A breakaway, and it should be an easy two, and it is. That's the pass I'm talking about when the Hawks want to reverse the ball. If your team has picked off by Baker to Woods. Woods hands off to Coots. Woods is doing a nice job there. He's penetrating deep. Defense and pressure by Iowa State. Iowa State, my opinion, the quicker team. Oh, Three. is he on it? And that's his career high. 23. Around Alexander, not there. Adrian Moore follows. No good. Baker with a third attempt. And the third time was a charm. And remember last year against Oklahoma State, Pearson hit one of those. Johnny uh, behind the back pass is okay if it's productive and it's meaningful. You're just putting it on the show, then it, uh, it does. Oh, look at that what kick! A one yeah. <laughs> over for the Cyclones. Ahead, Thompson for three. He's talked about a standstill shooter, and I will. Johnny Orr telling his team to put their hands up, and they aren't doing it. The alley oop. It is way. Now, see right here. Did he get it? Yeah, I, that's a, that's a tough point. Lead has watched it evaporate. Woods outside for three. It is a three-pointer for Terry Wood. Thigpen, Thigpen guarding Thompson and Woods on Moses. And Thompson <laughs> launches from long range anyway. Ahead to Alexander, drops it back to Woods. He pulls up, and Terry. Ohio's defense has been good the second half, and there's a turnover, and they got a man wide open. Slam time. Thompson. Collins gets it ahead to Woods. Over to Koontz. Oh, good slam. Koontz looking for somebody to shoot the three. Woods shakes free, lets it fly. He hits it. And I'll. Bigger guy on this side on the lane. He missed it. Who's got the rebound? It's loose. Iowa's got. Will go to 5 and 0. Oh. He misses the second. The clock goes. And it is over. And the Iowa Hawkeyes, after being down by 18 points in the first half, come back to win it. 89 87. Johnny Orr and Tom Davis shaking hands. Hope you enjoyed our game for Gary Thompson. Mark Matthews saying goodbye from Hilton Coliseum. This Shoes last win here in Minnesota came 11 years ago. Alexander goes to work in the paint, and there's the victor of all. He certainly does scrap for the ball. Here's Woods going baseline, lays it up and in. Beautiful. Mentioned about Thigpen, he's averaging just. Adrian Moore, Thigpen, first shot of the ball game. Swish! After going 0 for 5. Ball game tied at 10. 15.30 to go. Woods outside. Three pointer. And on the inbounds pass, Baker. Down low from five. Tough shot right there. Man, nobody knows that. <laughs> Woods outside. Three-pointer. Aha! Uh -huh. 12-40. Lob pass. Alley -oop. Oh, nice play. Oh. Kevin Lynch. Particularly the offensive end. Nice feed from Woods into Kuntz and Phil Kuntz. Iowa State leading most of the way. Thigpen makes collision, but drops back and hits it anyway. Just a straight down. Outside, Burton doesn't hit it. Rebound, Martin back up and in. They are really hounding Woods. Cross-court pass, Alexander dribbled it, shouldn't have, but he still gets it. The leading scorer for the Gophers is second. Turnover, Bond, breakaway, slam. A good steal, he's able to come from behind. More on the left, Woods fakes the shot inside to Alexander, he gets it. Well, Alexander, a nice job of dusting the... No foul call, but plenty of contact. Count that one. Keep Minnesota from scoring. Bond will take it from three-point range, and he hits it.
Iowa State will have 11 seconds. Corner of the first half for Minnesota, and Bond hits it. Victor fires, doesn't oh, no. get it. Oh, that, that should be a should goal. Be goal Jim Bain says no, it was still going up. Johnny Orr they has the pin. Yep. Instead, Victor comes up, misses a two. They're still fighting for it. Alexander again. That's good second effort. But here's a three on two. Think pin off the glass. And think pin started. Iowa State player there. Inside, Alexander works in heavy traffic, and the big man is having one of his better games. Away. Ahead to Woods. They got numbers. Here's three on two. Woods pulls up, launches, hits it. Terry Woods. Call. If you hit, the way you look at that play, if you hit the ball there as it comes across down, that ball's going to go down to the floor. Ball movement, it's pretty slow. They get it into Baker, stripped out of his hands. Taken away by Metcalf. Here goes Newburn. Up and in. Nice play. Think pen for three. Minnesota veteran ball club had all their starters coming back. Of course, Coffee not playing tonight out with a broken nose. Willie Burton. Didn't give anybody outside. You give it to Bond. Good kick out by the big guy. Well, I said three give it to four. Bond outside. A lot of cut, cutting and picking and a lot of contact. Wood shakes free for the shot and gets the roll. Did he have to adjust that shot? He Minnesota trying to break the press. Oh, my. Nothing. The Gophers in scoring with 20 points. Dorfell, baseline. And he's sort of a slender young man. Doesn't really look his 6'9 size. Here's a three-pointer by Doug Collins. Final score here at Williams Arena in Minneapolis. The Minnesota Golden Gophers, 98. The Iowa State Cyclones, 82. We'll be back to wrap it up in just a moment.
Loose ball picked up. Dorfeld, nice feed to ThinkPad. Good break to the floor. Usually the Cyclones start out here so that they have their bench in their inside a Reese double team blocked by Alexander the first time second effort up and in see this one he does we've been successful as we said getting that ball to Reese good drive by Dorfell taking it to the hoop nice move by Thickpen to Woods takes it to the middle three on three Walsh first two of the game what a move by Phil Kuntz inside Woods makes it a three-point possibility Gets back. Iowa State lead pass. Woods to Coots. Misses the easy one. Collins follows. Down to three. Finally, a forced up shot that falls. It's a three pointer for Jonathan Cox. And Cox is a to get the ball to Victor. Victor's going to have to work hard in there. There they cleared out. Turn around by Alexander, and that's the first two points of the ball game for. Iowa State will get another shot at it. And it'll be Brian Pearson. Gets it and draws the foul. On Dale Turner, his 31 30. Iowa State by one. And again, they go to Alexander. Uncontested. Like I said, there's no way to stop him right now. So far, it has been. But Alexander with a dozen points and Woods with a big basket right there, his sixth of the day. Easy for him. Uh, Time running out. Dale Turner, baseline. Chopper, good. Only two, but a big two. Off the mark. And at intermission, the Panthers playing absolutely the way out. Big Ben misfires, and then Alexander loses the handle of it. Here's Collins from three-point range. Who well, said he gives you that kind of He's going to be playing softer yet down inside. Gorfell goes over fight. And a deep to Reese or something, come away with two. Collins or Thick Pen with a strip to Alexander. Back to Thick Pen for the lead. Well, if he came back, just reared up, shot the open shot in. Alexander. Woods for three. Uh, the victor, they go to the zone to try and uh, protect here the last couple possessions. Two, his first two from the field today. Think back. Only two, though. Only two. They've got two guys posted up low and a man up high. Nice. That's the by White. But you and I out rebounding Iowa State. Alexander. Good ball movement inside to Reese. And Bergen also Turner down here in the stretch with uh, Reese out of the ball game. Thick pin, three pointer. Oh. He's been near the just as Thinkman has a man Mullenberg on him that he can beat if they ever get him isolated in a one-on-one -on -one position. Kurt Baker with a ball. Inside, nice give and go. Hammers it home and draws the foul. Get a foul, right? Let get a quick foul. There's another pick by Woods. What a half defensively he's had. Over to Thinkman. It'll be the Hoosiers and the Cyclones. Boy, that sums this game up. Steals for Iowa State. with his 14th of the game. Johnny Orr with win number 144 at Iowa State. The final, 92 to 80, Iowa State over Northern Iowa. And now for Gary Thompson. That's what Iowa State has to do. They're going to give up that outside shot. Their guard, guards are not that uh, consistent. Victor Alexander, first two points of the day for Iowa State. Alexander comes in with impressive stats. Air ball, misses everything. Woods saves it. Up court, it's three on two if he hurries. Woods pulls up and drains his first shot of the day. Well, Terry Woods having the best shoot. This young club has averaged 17 turnovers a ball game. Three for Woods. Give him five. Dorfeld doing a good job fronting Anderson. Outside for two. Despite only uh, having started the first three ball games. Pick set. Woods with a nice feed. Alexander and a great play. And Victor Alexander now with a sixth point of the ball. Cheney left open. Second three point. 
Woods pushing it, stops at 15, goes to Alexander, and Alexander's bad hands drops it. Woods picks it up and puts it back in. And Woods free into the hands of the Hoosiers. The cutter is Anderson, spins in the lane for the hook, and scores over Baker. Anderson's a little over a point of ball game, but you can do it with a lot of things other than scoring. Rebound, Alexander. And Iowa. His charges to the board, but the only thing he's going to get is a ball that comes straight up and rebounds high, goes right over his head. Woods inside to Baker, and Baker gets in the book with his first two of the game. And it's 31-17. In and out, Woods for three. Bingo. That's his own. Should have been called the basket interference. Nice kick out, Al. Watch this. Nobody one. here for this one. Meeks. Guys there bringing uh, Coons in. Loose ball. Woods comes up with a steal. It. Get a three on one. Bounce pass to Collins. Oh. And he slams it in left handed. What a nice play. Collins shows you his great jumping ability. Scored over 10 points already. He's so just going to make that same comment that he's really hurt the cycle. This is that one. Now, see, I can't believe that. Guys, just stand there. The shot goes up, man. You got to put a body on somebody that's next. Just stand there and look. Unreal. Kuntz at the other end. The, the bench and sparking this. Boxing out. Woods open for two. And Terry Woods. Yeah, you can get the ball deep. Bounce pass, nice feed to Eric Anderson. Thought he should have given the ball to Collins that time earlier. Collins for three. three Doug three Collins, points. and he has. Yeah. Nice feed. That's Collins to spots the open man. 11th ranked Hoosiers in control, 56 to 35. Back. Big Victor Alexander. Thick pin. Free throw line jumper. First two of the game. I believe. Late in getting there where the guy might have the open shot and have it down in good scoring position. Anderson. Great second. Inside. Alexander turns and goes over Lawson. Misses it. Rebound. Coons, nice reverse back up and in. Inside the big pick. Goes over Anderson, gets the roll, it'll count, and the foul is going to be on Anderson. And Anderson, the leading rebounder for this club, and he's had a lot of the day. Good steal. Pearson, a two on two. Feeds Coons. Nice play. Good job, Jason, to lay it in. Nine points on the day for Coons in a reserve roll. Count the basket and say goodbye to Paul Dorfeld. Two points in the second half, and we're under 12 minutes left to go. Inside, Anderson reverse, count it, and there's a foul on Koontz. Here, and he has left the team, so a lot of talent here at Indiana and going to be around for a few years. And the best thing for him being out this long, I think, is just to get in the flow a little bit, to do some things, pass the ball, pick, rebound, and then try and do something with it. Count the basket. Stripped of the ball in the paint. Lost it up with it. Up court to Graham. Kind of felt his way that time. Matt Graham as he went in there. On the day. Terry Woods continues to fight for his life. Here's Collins. Three-pointer for Collins. Kuntz on the turnaround. Tell you what, he's having a pretty good, good hustle job there. Rick. Took the penetration, kicked out, and then shaped up right away. But now Todd Leary. And he does like to have this happen, but at the same time, he can't tell his kids to quit playing. Coons. Turn out the lights. Party's over. It's been over. <laughs> this one was over. Ball hustled after by Washington into Baker, and Baker gets the shot. Well, even the round tried, but 
Oh, nice trip away. Collins Brown. Norman Brown has got his points in the book. Bob Knight picking up his 420th win, shaking hands with a very dear friend, Johnny Orr. Johnny in his 10th year at Iowa State. Bobby at his 19th year at Indiana. Tough afternoon for one of them. Well, now it's time to announce our Garst Cyclone Player of the Game. and Hunt. They do most of the scoring. Alexander has it knocked out of his hands. Collins picks it up and in. And Iowa State's on the board. It's 4-2. to two. Big Pen. Here's a three on three. Big Pen. Baseline. Wood stops and pops. Well, they had the numbers in their favor. And that Illinois Chicago will be hosting Michigan State for hockey right here as Victor Alexander slams it down. Turned on defense. You got to be looking back. And Collins. Collins answers the three-point attempt. 
short by Clark. Put back up and in by Philando Thigpen. And what slaps it down, Pearson down there. Two on one to Baker. Good play by Pearson right there. He forced the ball at the man, made him. One attempt, won't fall. Terry hurries down to Dorfell. Lays it up and in, and Paul Dorfell's in the book. Good pass that time by Woods. Four point margin. 21 Good Woods deal. with a steal. He's got a hurry. He's got three on two. Woods stops and fires long range and still gets it for two. And Terry Woods with his fourth. And also Tramel Murphy comes into the lineup. And a long range bomb from Brian Hill. Well, this guy is not. And Woods has it taken away momentarily. Picks it back up and sends it home. Good recognition by Terry Woods that time when the guy's first half. Air ball, rebounded on the far side. By yes, the group we talked, uh, I don't know if you mentioned it, uh, David Moss and uh, Sam Hill, a couple of ex-cyclones are here. Just didn't wait for the outlet pass. Back to three now. Dorfeld driving, contact. The foul is on Illinois Chicago. And foul on Dorfeld, and Kurt Baker checks into the lineup now. And a three. Baker, the second leading rebounder on the club, averaging almost six rebounds a game. Nice move, screen away from the ball. Dorfeld, uh, something about a left hand always comes out. Oh, it's wide open. Big Ben with a steal, tips it to Woods. Woods with a lay-in. And Terry Woods in double figures now with 10. Here, and Brown hits the court hard. It's a slippery floor. Heck oh, of a move. Oh, what a move there by Chris Harris. Well, he said he's a one-on-one. -on -one Dorfeld, stripped of the ball, falls down, chasing it, picked up by the Flames. Breakaway, big pin, slams it home. Actually rejected by Baker, door fell, ahead to big pin, collision, finally picked up by Collins, up and in. Big basket there, thought for a while. Hardwood, no foul, and now somebody threw some ice in the court. Woods goes down, nobody sees open. Alexander, slapped away, then put back up and in by Victor. I think that's good, 14. Yeah, yeah. Victor Alexander. Big Ben oh, traffic. Lays it up and in. Tough shot. Flames have helped Iowa State. Oh, he stepped in. Stepped he in. Oh, the, oh, can you believe? Four right. seconds. Three seconds. Pearson will take it. The three-pointer good. And Iowa State will lose by one. They had the play that they wanted. Pearson made the shot that they wanted. But the mental mistake of stepping in the lane cost Iowa State the ball game. Yeah. Well, we are out of time. We got to go. The final score, the University of Illinois. Player, but important to make Victor Alexander work on defense. He's about 10 pounds heavier. You don't want to let him do what he just did. Well, he got open underneath. And Reggie's not a, a great offensive player anyway and forced into the turnaround jump. Woods again to Victor Alexander, and he scores, and he's fouled. Delaware's tried a three-pointer. Henson, though, as we've mentioned, is not shot is. until now. A three-pointer is good. Nice pass to Victor. He's fouled by Rudiger. This year. He was on it last year as honorable mention, even though he did not play. He was a red shirt. Big pen with a three-pointer. He now has seven to tie. Woods trying to set something up, being guarded by Henson. Victor Alexander way out of time. Now, how come he can't hit a free throw? Not a popular call here in Manhattan, but a good one, as you saw. Thinkpan puts it up. Wow, does he have a sweet shot. It's Paul Dorfield as he passes it off to Thinkpan. Now they try to work it into Victor. He is triple team and still hits it. Henson. Victor Alexander or Dorfield to clear. Nice pass from Victor Alexander. And Kansas State will get about seconds left to go in the first half. Alexander, nice stop touch. Boy, he's got a great way. He leans in. I tell you for a Well, an interesting first half. Kansas State shooting just to trim the cyclone lead in half. Alexander had to adjust his shot, doesn't get it. Off the boards and good. Alexander claiming he was mauled. The Iowa game where Cyclones led by 18 and lost. Henson gets a favorable hop. And out, get it to Vic. Almost stripped away by Delaware. Now back to Victor. Up and in. I tell you, that's an athletic move for a guy 6'8 and about 275 pounds. Henson now looking for Delaware. Three-pointer. Wow, is he hot?
Pearson now out on Delaware. You're going to have to play him 20 25 from the basket. Henson for three. A 17 point swing. Both of these clubs last year in the tournament. Woods three pointer. Woods starting to get hot now. He has nine. Defensively, turning around, telling these guys to get after him. Nice shot up and in by Paul Coder looking over to the Iowa State bench. I think he's tired. Henson for three. But more of an up tempo type team. That might be a little misleading. Basket counts. What a shot by Phil Coons. Again, Rediger has to be careful with four fouls, and Coons with one off the glass. Johnny said he was a good. The Kansas State coaches, they put Delaware in one of the corners. Henson, wide open for three. There's a battle for position. Alexander hangs in the. Coming down in a hurry. And Alexander for two. It doesn't go. Rebounded by Kansas State, and that'll do it. shooting just 32. Hot in the first half at Kansas State, but then cooled off and went scoreless in the second. Three-point shot, good by Collins. And Iowa State forges out. Orfell, they went inside, they collapsed, he kicks it right back out. Oh, nice pass. And a foul on the play. And it'll our control, and it was a 7.30 start. Alexander inside, draws the foul, and gets the basket. And Victor Alexander. Ooh, backdoor play. And Iowa State is three of three from three. Here's Collins on a steal. Nice feet of think You can see right there sitting on the very end of the court. Alexander down low, nice fake, and drops it through. And big Victor. With his seven points worth the 11.45 mark of the first half, and Iowa State by six. Baseline, Baker open for the jam. We got Houston going man for man that time. Ooh, Dorfel had a man all over his back. Mickens with a strip and jams at home, and that brings the crowd alive here at Hoffheis Pavilion. There are. Inside. Collins, nice play. We got a marvel of Collins. Second foul on points a game. Cutter, Dorfell, nice spin move, and Dorfell comes alive tonight with his eighth in the game. Side help shut that inside game off because they've been strong. Rollies from three. Woods penetrating back outside. Collins for three. Three of three from three point range for Dorfell. Woods down with it. Nice bounce pass down to Collins. Oh, oh what a play! Beautiful pass. One pass down to Upchurch. <laughs> Won't fall, but oh, the tip, tip is there. What a finale. Oh, you're one on two. Iowa State starting out the second half cold. Oh, quite an athletic move by Upchurch. Dorfell, way outside, just. Outside. Collins, only a two. Going to get intercepted. That wouldn't be on a breakaway situation. Smith, three pointer. And that's three for Byerson. If it's not there, don't force the ball in. Bring it around. Pearson from three. Boy, they needed that. Brian Pearson with it. He's been hot all night. He continues to be. Collins with his fourth. Oh, loose ball picked up by Pearson. The Cyclones get a break. Ahead to Alexander for the three-point play, maybe. Victor Smith. Well, and you have to give Smith credit. Making. Good stolen, steal. stolen by Collins to Woods, 15. Pearson in and out, rebound. Koontz up, no good. Tipped again, it's still up in the air. Take block out so many times you hope to miss and then do not block out and they get it. Collins, and he loses the handle. That is the ball again. Yeah. Well, that will not count. That's academic right now. How ironic that our player of the game just simply yeah. lost the ball when they had a chance. The final score.